Hey, everybody. It's the Sandy Maselli Show. I know that you've been waiting many days to hear those words, but I've been on a trip. That's why I uh, didn't make a podcast. I was out in Russia. Um, Some of you might know it as the motherland. Uh, But I have brought back with me a wonderful friend of mine that I want you all to meet. Uh, We are going to be doing this podcast together. Um, we met in the Russian wilderness, and he's just an all-around great guy. So, um, guys, uh, please welcome Dmitry Smyslov. Hey, Dmitry. What is up, everybody? Hello. I am Dmitry Smyslov, like my friend Sandy has just told you. I was born in Russia. Can, can you speak more about that? Um, being born in Russia, that, that sounds cool. What was your childhood like? My childhood, I don't want to talk about my childhood. Why are you making me bring up this? Oh, no, it's totally fine if you don't want to say. I mean, uh, but you you told me in confidence when uh, that one night we were sipping on some vodka. And, uh, yeah, you told me, and it was amazing. So I was wondering if you could share that with my listeners. Well, if you insist, I must say that this story is very graphic and disturbing for some people. Yes, my tra- my childhood traumatized me very much. I, today I don't like to be in homes or places with families or it, or see little children running around because it reminds me of my childhood and makes me very sad. One of the many few things... <laughs> That's weird, you said many few. Yes, I know, sometimes my English is not so good. Why you have to make fun of me, Sandy? Yeah, I'm sorry, it's just a weird thing to say. Many few, it doesn't really make any sense. Okay, okay, I'm I'm sorry. It's one of the few things that make me upset. But I will tell everybody about this. Everybody, you're in for a treat. Let's listen up. Go ahead, Dimitri. Okay, well, basically what happened was, I was born inside a little Russian home inside wilderness. Listen to this. This home was one room big. And nobody was around for many, many miles. We live in wi- in wilderness, let me tell you. It's cold as shit. Okay, so um, what was your parents like? What Did you have any brothers or sisters? Dimitri? Oh, God, you fucking asshole. Okay, okay. So my mommy, sh- my mother, she was very nice lady. But of course she died in childbirth. Because every single Russian woman died in childbirth she- after a while. That is leading cause of death among Russian women. For They just keep having children until they die in childbirth. It is crazy. But, okay, so I had one other brother. His name... My name Dmitry, his name Nikolai. My my father, he was big old asshole. He he after my mother she died, he ran away to he ran away to Moscow to pursue career in in restaurant business. This is bitch move to do. You do not you do not go to Moscow and and become city guy. You oh you oh look at me, see the guy, see the Russian man. No, you do not. You stay in wilderness. If you're born in wilderness, you stay in wilderness until you, until you die in wilderness. This is how it works. Well, you're not in the wilderness right now. You came out with me to America. What do you have to say about that? Are you fucking kidding me, man? I come to America to do this dumb little show for you, and you tell me, oh, why are you living wilderness? I live wilderness because I fucking want to live wilderness. Okay, I can do whatever the shit I want to do. My dead bitch, I will go. He never come back. He never come back. That's the difference. I will go back to wilderness and, and say hello to Mother Russia once again. Um, okay, so... <laughs> Sorry, man, you're getting riled up here. What, uh... What did you What did you do when your dad left? That That must have been hard for you and your brother. Yes, very hard. But for for brother was much more challenging because in order to stay alive in winter, we we had to do. You had to do, you what? Duel. A duel? You you guys dueled? What does that mean? Do very simple concept, Sandy, you silly American, how do you not understand do? Basically what happens is you fight to death, and winner eat loser. 
winner it lo- it eat are you trying to say eat yes it and jesus well this is what happened you kill and then you eat him so to, for staying alive so you're telling me that your dad left you to go run a restaurant business in moscow and then you killed your brother and ate him Yes, my friend, this is of course obvious because, listen, I was little man, I did not have very many highs, uh, very many hunting experiences. I was, cra- I, I had to learn this, which I of course am learning now. I learned already, uh, but, but before then I had to kill brother. Uh, okay, okay, so you killed your brother and you ate him, but you're still in the wilderness, and how old are you at this point? Six years old. This is when I first killed brother. First kill? Like, were there multiple killings? No, no, of course not. But the first time, one time, last time, same difference, okay? Okay, so then you had to learn to hunt, right? Well, yes, because I was all alone inside the inside wilderness by myself, kill brother, mom died childbirth, dead bitch. I had to, I had to fend for myself. All right, so, so what is that like? What did you do? Well, what I would do is I would go outside, I would find tree. I would cut down branch with teeth. And then I would shave branch down with teeth for to make spear. Alright, so, alright, so you have a spear, nice, okay, perfect. Now, now, you, what are you gonna kill, like, squirrels or, you know, birds? You gonna set some traps? What are you doing? No, this winter, this perfect time for to hunting bears. Bears. Yes, bears. They're 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 big animals with fur and claws and thi- no no no, Dimitri. I know what a bear is. I'm just saying that not a lot of people hunt them. Huh. <laughs> what do you mean? Not a lot of people hunt. Not a lot of hunt. Not a lot of people hunt bears. That's what I'm trying to say. They're dangerous animals. You can't really. I don't know. It's it seems tough to do with a spear. <laughs> <laughs> You tell me hunt bear hard? You tell me that go find bear, attack him this hard? Yeah, I mean, I've never done it. It seems like it would be not that easy to do. Well, let me tell you, when I was six years old, after I killed brother, I have him for a while, I turned seven years old. Then I go out and kill bear. Oh, shit. So you're saying, so you killed the bear, the first bear that you ever killed, you were seven. Yes, my friend, it's obvious to everybody in Russia, you kill bear before 10 or you bitch. My dad killed first bear at 11, so once he grow up, he become asshole and, uh, and bitch, and, and he go do restaurant business in Moscow. Wow. Uh, dude, I'm, I'm speechless, that's amazing. I can't believe that you, you hunt bear. You have to hunt bears to stay alive. Okay, so... Uh, th- then one. I just live like this, in the wilderness, for many days. I make vodka out of snow. What? You, how, do you, how does that work? I cannot tell exactly how to do, but a simple, r- every Russian instinct, no. You just go into snow, you, gra- you take a lot of snow, you get the snow, bring inside, make, a, make vodka with it. So, you basically had an unlimited supply of alcohol, and you were hunting bears. As a ten-year-old, this is this is a crucial crucial lifestyle for Russian men to become big and strong and to have to have many bitches when he grow up. Okay, so now so you you have a lot of bitches now. Yes, of course I have many many bitches. In in Russia, what you do you do not you do not say hey oh would you like to have sex? Do you do not say any of this? They just you just do it. Because this is, it, they already yours, if you know what I mean. The women, they, they already yours. Ah, uh, that's really fucked up, Dimitri. You, you're, are you advocating to just go around stealing women? Just taking them? Yes, I advocate, because you have to, you do not be bitch, you do not, you, you take bitch, you do not be bitch. Ah, uh, <laughs> Damn, all right. Well, well now well now that we're in America, you can't really do that, you know. Yes, I know you tell me this. This is it's very hard to resist the urge to take a bitch. 
just out of the street and bring her with me to to my hotel room and then you light the candle, you make it romantic, it's not like I'm just taking bitches and just fucking the shit out of them without giving them pleasure, you know what I'm saying? Oh, this is, you know what, let's steer, let's steer away from this topic, it's kind of freaky, you mentioned that we're in America now, well, uh, maybe I did, I forget which one of us said that. I forget though, this is very confusing. Okay, so uh, so the, yeah, we are in America. What do you what do you think of Washington D.C.? It's it's the capital of America. <laughs> at least at least we not further come to capital start restaurant business. This just a piece of shit area with with many stupid American walking around. Everyone here the weak ass bitches. Everyone, everyone here is a weak ass bitch. Have you been to the Have you been to the Russian embassy? Oh my god, you, you do not tell me to go to embassy, this is ridiculous. And you tell me to go to Russian embassy, see politician bitches there, all, all people that are there, or all, all bitch Russians who come here, they, they decide to go, oh, we're going to be a politician ambassador to America, that would be so great, I would go there. You do not go, you do not become politician and become stupid motherfucker who lives in America city with all oh, in building by, that's Russia. That, uh, that building is not Russia, you're just shitting my face. Wow. Uh, so, okay, so politicians are bitches, uh, according to you. So what do you think about Vladimir Putin? He, he seems like a nice guy, he seems like a cool, well, he doesn't really seem nice, but he seems like a, he seems like a badass, you know? He seems like he's representing your country well. Uh, big and uh, strong, you know? They're tough. He's tough. What are you fucking shitting on my face? Listen, you keep on shitting my face, and listen. Uh, Vladimir Putin is not bad as the Russian man. He bitch. He's another one of politician bitch. You... But but he was in the Spetsnaz. He was in... He's a black belt in judo. That, that's crazy. Oh my god, this is... Listen, you become politician. You make up lies. You get black belt in judo just because you're president. You're not badass. Most badass people in Russia live in wilderness. They do not live in some some presidential house or where they have uh, horses and they have cars and they walk and they fly to America to shake hands with, uh, with, uh, with Barack. Do not do this. Dimitri, I feel like you're being really hypocritical. You, you came here with me. You're in America right now. Uh, what? This is... Okay, this is some fucking ridiculous bullshit. I come as favor to, to one of my good American friends. One person who is not a bitch. I'm... I'm not. I'm not a bitch. Fucking bitch! You goddamn it! You, you just arrest your your non-bitch status. You cannot bring up the fact that you're not a bitch. You can't act surprised when somebody says you're not a bitch. This is number one rule. You do not. Oh, you do not say. Oh, yeah, I am not a bitch. Do not do that, Sandy. You fucked it up. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Is there anything else you want to say? Like, fuck, man. This this has been this has been riveting. You're. You're awesome. Thanks for thanks for coming down. Uh, what what are you gonna do after this? Probably go. Probably go take some. Okay. Okay. No. No. You're not gonna take any bit. No. No. We're just gonna go and we're gonna fly you back to Russia. It's gonna be fun. You want to fly? You want me to fly to Russia? You want me? To, this is no. God damn it! You son of a bitch. Listen to me. If you if you're leaving Russia, this is rule. This is obvious rule. If you're leaving Russia, you could fly to beach country. But in order to get back into Russia, do not fly. This is this is easy way out. You just go and and you you get in plane, sit down. You go into air. Somebody else at controls. You all. Uh, women come up to you asking for if you want drink or or peanut. This is this is bullshit. You do not. This is what you do. You walk. You walk back to Russia. You have to do this. How how do you walk back? How do you walk back to Russia? It's, it's like, you know, you're, you're like an ocean away you're on the other side of the world, pretty much. Yes or no? Very simple. What you do is what you you want to walk up upwards. Up. You just go north all the way, all the way up. Up a world. 
You're walking. You're gonna walk up the world. Like you're gonna go up to Canada. You're gonna go to the Arctic, and then you're just gonna walk down the other side of the globe, back into Russia. Yes, I am going to walk. I'm going to walk straight north up into where I'm go into Arctic. Whatever you say, kill some penguin, polar bear, whatever the fuck I see there, and then I go down, walk just straight down the other side of the world, back into Russia. It's very simple. That seems like a convoluted plan, but you know what, Dimitri, you can do whatever you're going to do. You're a badass, and uh, I love you. Thanks for coming out here. And you just say you love me? That is not... You do the, are you homo, man? Are you some sort of homo guy? No, no, dude. I was just... Um, that's, that's rude, man. That's, you, can't, you can't be saying stuff about gay people like that. Gay people in Russia, we do, you do not understand what we do to these people. N well, you know, the, con the the world is pretty mad at you guys about that. No, I don't give shit about them. I don't give shit about anybody who, who is homosexual. <laughs> Dude, that is really fucked up. I, I don't, I, I, Sandy Miscellany does not condone anything Dimitri Smith myself. So do not disclaimer me. Do not fucking di give me disclaimer on your podcast. This is bullshit. I am living. I'm getting out of here. Okay, so Dim Dimitri's gone. Um, but I hope that you guys enjoyed that interview with him. Uh, that's, that, he's pretty psycho. I, yeah, he's pretty fucking freak. Um, but, but anyway, thanks for watching. And, uh, goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.